and tonight I am sitting here and I'm thinking I have so many amazing things that I am happy for or happy about that happened this year and it's gonna be hard but I want you to take a walk with me and I'm gonna see if I can boil it to my top 10 things that I am just so grateful for in 2017 yeah next clip be hard but the first thing that comes to mind that I'm grateful for is being able to have my mom out here to the Philippines this year and uh, I didn't do a lot of vlogging of that probably should have but it kind of felt like I was under a lot of stress between work and um, just kind of the unexpected nature of my mom um, like coming like like a month early and I think it was and like, I don't know a bunch of other stuff um, I really wish I would have vlogged more. Like, put more stuff in concrete memories. The view is to die for. Yeah, look, it's beautiful. Hi, no, it's Hi Chris. Hi, it Mom. gets even prettier. But yeah, huh. Next clip. Another thing I'm really happy about is that I got to go to VidCon this year. VidCon is a convention for video creators, like myself. And I went there for work. Uh, but I did get to have a little bit of fun because, you know, yeah, I, I like that kind of thing. Hell yeah, dude. High five. That's awesome, bro. I like that. Huh. Got myself into... I'm trapped. Help. Send help. You know, something else I'm super grateful for is the ability to have kind of lived the single life a little bit here in the Philippines this year. I don't know, it's just been nice just being able to worry about me for a little while. I mean, maybe not as much as I want. I still have goals. I'd still like to, you know, tone and shape up, but yeah, really grateful for the ability to do what I want when I want, untethered to anybody and just be single. It's amazing. Ooh, you know what? I just thought of something. I'm really grateful that I started the vlog this year. I mean, I didn't technically start it this year. I've been keeping this vlog for a while, but I didn't start taking it seriously until about May of this year. And, um, yeah, like, I'm just glad that I am sort of cata cataloging things a little bit better now and just kind of creating memories, not only for me, but also for you and the community that's kind of sprung up around all this. It's just something that I'm very grateful for. Anthonites! 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 I'm also really grateful for the fact that I was able to take a Philippines road trip. Um, that was so amazing to me. Uh, I learned so much and got to experience so much. I got to, I don't know, like, as silly as it sounds, I feel like I kind of grew as a person from that, just because it got me out of the Manila bubble. It got me out of um, everything that I had experienced before, and it wasn't in on someone else's schedule. Like, it wasn't like I was part of some tour or something like that. You know, things just kind of happen. And tonight I am on a road trip all around the northern part of the Philippines. Oh, okay. Oh my God, what the hell? This is beautiful. And it was really wonderful. So I'm grateful for that. Oh yeah, 
Yeah. So I'm also really glad that I got an opportunity to learn how to cook a little bit of Filipino food. Um, and like, for instance, adobo, um, uh, menudo once I tried, I think. I don't think it was a success, but I don't know, maybe it was, and maybe, I don't know. But I'm just like really glad that I got the opportunity to try and do that. That was nice. Speaking of Filipino food, um, not just learning to cook a dish or two, but also learning to experience um, so many more. Um, I, I, there are a lot of Filipino dishes I absolutely love, and I never would have known that if I hadn't tried them. And part of that I actually owe due to you and this channel, because there are some things that I've tried that I never would have even thought to try if it weren't for this channel. I've never had chicken feet before. Oh, there's like chicken wings. I'm also really grateful for the opportunity to meet up with and work with a few other vloggers this year. Um, it was not necessarily something that I had planned. It just kind of happened and fell in my lap that um, I got to meet up with um, Ahizi Tribe and um, Joseph, my wife, and Manila and a few others. And I'm really glad that I was able to do that this year. Guys, subscribe to Anthony's channel. Yeah. Next clip. Also in 2017, I've uh, just begun to take my health a little bit more seriously. Um, it all sort of came to a head when uh, I realized I needed a CPAP machine to help me in my sleep. I have, wow, this is, wow. I've got like several different kinds of belts or whatever these are on. This is amazing. And then I joined a gym and though admittedly, probably don't go to the gym as often as what I should. Um, it's definitely, uh, I'm doing it more than I used to. getting out to do things like this, like walking around, just having nice strolls a lot more often. And I'm making a point to care about me a little bit more. Eat less, move more, that kind of thing. So I'm grateful for that. Last but not least, I think we're on number 10 now. <laughs> I haven't really been keeping as good a track as I should have. Oh, another thing I'm really happy about is being able to sort of travel throughout Southeast Asia. Uh, went to Hong Kong, though only for a day. I wish it would have been longer. And I went to Kuala Lumpur um, for a day. Wish it would have been longer. I don't know. Like, I'm very glad I was able to do it. I wish it would have been more. But you know what? Sometimes in the grand scheme of things, you have to appreciate what you have, what you've had, and focus a little bit less on what would have, or could have, or should have happened that would have been better. Because that stuff, that's what next year is for. Next year is for all the stuff that you wanted to do better, or wish could have been better, because that you can control. That you have a chance of doing something about. But if you start worrying about stuff in the past and what you did wrong or whatever, sometimes you can you can start going negative in a, in a bad way. So those are the things that I am very, very happy about this year. Let me know your list down below. Give me a full 10 if you can. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make me love my job. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye. 
you so much for joining me on today's story on my Quento. Be sure to check out one or more of the things on screen now that'll lead you to even more stuff, because it's awesome. All right, next vlog.